I've had an ongoing long-term research project in Alaska looking at the politics of natural resource management. I was extraordinarily excited this summer to bring one of my students with me from the College of Charleston. Hi, my name is Jordan Blanton and I'm collaborating with the Huslia Native American tribe on salmon management with Dr. Annette Watson. We were funded by a surf grant and what I was able to do was introduce the student to what tribal life and tribal wildlife management is like. We engaged in participant observation, meaning that we worked with, worked alongside, and observed what tribal members did. Jordan was a trooper. He was asked to do lots of different things that probably he didn't expect to be asked as part of the daily life and daily existence of being in a village. This village, you can't get to it by road. You only can fly to this particular village. Uh, it's pre pretty isolated. About 98% of the people are Alaska Native. So it's definitely an Im immersion experience uh, in a totally different way of thinking about the world. Huslia is located on the Kayakuk River, which is the main tributary of the Yukon River, one of the largest rivers in North America. And the salmon from the Pacific go up the Yukon River drainage to spawn. And this village, Huslia, is one of the many villages that they fish these salmon. King salmon is a very endangered species around the world, uh, but especially in the Pacific. It's important to design a project around the students' needs and student learning goals. Jordan wanted very much to understand what are the intricacies of working on the politics of natural resource management. Uh, and really, the, the most complicated it gets is when you're talking about two different cultures. An indigenous hunter and fisherman accepts an animal into their life and is welcoming of always of the gift of the animal uh, whereas often wildlife biology and wildlife conservation is concerned with always limiting harvest. So it's a very different concept of management that uh, Jordan was able to really get deep exposure to.